Good morning, it's Amy. I want to tell you a story that will probably make you giggle. It definitely makes me giggle when I think about it and also help you with your communication and setting healthier boundaries all around, but especially if you have kids, <clears throat> setting boundaries with kids. So I'll tell you a story about myself and my kids. A couple years ago, I don't know where I heard this or if I just thought to myself that it would help me, but whenever I felt like I was gonna lose my patience or lose my cool with my kids, because I felt like they'd pushed me too far, I would um, get mad in a sing-song voice. So it would be like, you can't do that anymore because you're stressing me out. <laughs> and I would say all sorts of things. I, I wouldn't be mean in the sing-songy voice, but I would try and put down rules with that sing-song voice. And what ended up happening was I felt kind of weird doing it. It wasn't helping me calm down and the boys were quite weirded out by it. Um, it didn't help them respect me anymore. Uh, I still felt like I let myself get overcome by my emotions even though I was trying to use that singing tactic. So I don't recommend that you try that. It didn't help me. What did help me is when I decided that I could control my, my own emotions more than I was. And I could set healthier boundaries for my kids so that I would feel more respected and listened to. When I decided that, then I started believing that I was a great parent even if I had firmer boundaries. I was a great mom still, even if I had firm boundaries. So that's something I've definitely worked on. And when it comes to not unleashing the fury on my children when I've had enough, what really helps is me taking a few deep breaths. It seems very simple, but it works. And almost giving myself a time out before I let any kind of words come out of my mouth. So deciding that you are a great person no matter how firm your boundaries are with people, whether they be your kids or not, and then also deciding that you have more control than you've given yourself credit for over your own emotions and your ability to control yourself. As you rein in on your ability to control, you'll find that you actually um, can tighten the reins and those skills will flourish and develop as you use them more. So if you would like to find out more about this program that I'm offering, the Breakthrough to Your Fun and Fabulous Life, I'd love to have you on board. It'll really help you learn how to uh, let go of control, set some really healthy boundaries for yourself so you can say no and stop people pleasing as well as a lot of other things we're covering. It's an extensive program where you're going to get lots of support and accountability so that you can achieve your goals. Okay, have a fabulous day. Talk to you soon.